It's Lindsay Sabadosa. There are two problems with going last. <laughs> the first problem is that I've been able to revise my speech over and over, and it looks like this now. <laughs> so if I pause, it's because I don't know where I am. The second problem is that I have been so inspired this evening that I have cried a lot, and my makeup is all, I don't know. So I'm a little sad that the videographers are now here. <laughs> So when I sat down um, tonight to think about what I wanted to say, because I really did wait until the last minute, I had such a hard time thinking about what I wanted to talk about. But I decided I was going to talk about the very first protest march I organized. And that was in 1990. I was nine years old. So I love books. I've always loved books. And when I was growing up, my home life was a little tumultuous. And a refuge for me was our local library. I spent a lot of time there. I volunteered there. I shelved books. I helped set up crafts for the, um, the little kids on the weekends. It was wonderful. And so I was devastated when our mayor decided he was going to close the library due to budget cuts. So that's unacceptable. I organized a march. I called the media. Note, mayors do not like it when you call the media. Especially when you're a kid. Especially when you're a kid, because the media shows up, right? Yeah. Um, I had my first TV interview. It was scary. But um, in any case, after the mayor had had to justify his budget cuts to multiple media outlets, he invited me to sit down with him. And when you are nine and you are invited to sit down with the mayor to talk about the budget, uh, it's like being called to the principal's office, but much, much worse. Um, so he sat me down and he started to talk about how there were so many important things that he had to fund in our city and that the library was really just the last thing and he was really sorry, but there was no money. And I, again, terrified, nodded along and didn't really say anything, but I knew he was wrong. And I still know he's wrong. But now I know why he's wrong. What I couldn't express to him back then is that budgets are our values. And what he wasn't telling me, he was saying we can't afford it, but what he was really saying is we don't care. And that's different, right? That's what he should have said if he were being honest. Because that library was a place where young children went to learn how to read. There were arts and crafts projects every weekend. Families in the neighborhood showed up. Families that could not travel to other places. It was a gem and it created community and what he was saying was that that wasn't a value. So that's why I marched then. Why I march now is because it was unacceptable then and it's unacceptable now and it hasn't changed. And I'm going to keep marching until it does change. Thank you. <laughs> Our speakers, come on up. All our speakers, come on up. Everybody, come on up. So I don't.